How you doing? I have two DoorDash orders. Drew B and Nicole H. Nicole H and Drew B, B yes. Drew B and Nicole H. Thank you. Well, the roads are really bad today. Not the main roads, but the developments. So we're gonna be very picky, very picky today. Uh, I'm not gonna do Dunkin' Runs uh, going under $10. Actually, no DoorDash under $10. Instacart, there's a probably a $25 minimum. Um, the main roads are great, but you know, to deliver just coffee or some breakfast, uh, in these developments where people are sliding all over the place, the ice is really bad. Nah, I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm going to do just large orders today. I'm going to be very, very selective. See what we get. All right, it's been about an hour right now. <clears throat> We're still in the parking lot of Acme. And uh, right now it's just... We're getting orders, but the orders are just going way too far eight to ten miles not worth the money so we're going to continue to wait hopefully we can get something i'm watching people in the parking lot just slide all over the place so we're just going to wait it out a little bit longer see what we get um but we will have to be picky today all right the roads the main roads are great the side roads and the development areas mm -mm, ice all over the place we are going to be very selective today. Not doing any DoorDash under $10, no Instacart under $25, not driving coffee and breakfast uh, in these developments. You know, safe, you gotta be safe. Uh, all the apps are open, but I just don't feel right. And I think anyone else would do the same thing. Um, if you're driving in the ice and the snow in the Philadelphia area, really take it easy today really i hope i hope you're you're being very selective as well uh with your orders but you have to be you just can't accept anything um especially if it's two three four dollars there's no way you're getting me the drive uh in in these roads for two three dollars just not happening so we're gonna be waiting for our orders might be a little longer than typical Good morning. It is seven o'clock right now on Sunday, January 21st. Man, yesterday was a rough day. We only worked about an hour and a half, maybe max two hours. We just wasn't able to get not only the, the jobs that we wanted, but at the same time, all the small roads into development areas, 
They weren't plowed, they weren't assaulted, very icy, people were sliding all over the place, just wasn't worth it. Uh, safety first, so we cut it short, about an hour and a half, we made $12 on DoorDash, that's it. Um, today, hopefully, is a much better day. It is Sunday, so it's one of my favorite days because Sunday is a shopping day. Uh, everyone's getting their groceries today. So we have four minutes. It's 6.56 right now. So we have four minutes to get to ShopRite uh, or Acme parking lot. One of those parking lots, they're across the street from each other. And uh, wait for our first order. Goal today, because of the ice and, and the snow, I still think there's people who don't want to go out of their house. So I'm still gonna keep our budget at about $150 for today on Sunday. Um, but it all really depends on how bad the side roads are and how bad the, uh, the development roads are. Um, if it's really that bad, we might just have to cut it short again, but it all depends on, on the roads. But we haven't really been out yet, so uh, let's head over to the parking lots now and um, hope for our first job very quickly. Well, I had to wait nearly two hours for an order because Instacart only wanted to send me orders in a different state. Once again, we're getting orders in Philadelphia. I just opened up DoorDash literally five minutes ago and my very first order, $10.50 going 2.9 miles, shopping at Acme, five items. Hey, we're going to take what we can get right now. Let's go do it. Yo, and then as soon as I was about to get out of the car, I got this upgrade added batch for F4 Acme, uh, $12 going an additional two point some miles. I'll take that stack. Let's go shop for two customers now at Acme. All right, those two orders have been dropped off. Uh, something I didn't mention was uh, this was a stack shopping order through Acme uh, on DoorDash. And typically I don't see those. And in fact, I only saw uh, two of those yesterday um, were stack shopping orders. I guess they're really competing against Instacart and they really want to take some of the market share away. Hey, I'm fine with that. Um, easy $23 and some change. Uh, going what total eight miles and it took maybe like 15 minutes worth of shopping so I will take that yo <laughs> watching in the parking lot pretty crazy so there was this customer all right I shouldn't even say customer at this point <laughs> uh, I watched someone come out of the Acme with a cart full of I don't know food and uh, sodas and milk and everything I mean it was full too bottom car, top, everything, all covered, coming out and they walk maybe a good like 100 yards and there's a guard, a security guard, uh, chasing them. He leaves the car right in front of my car and and then leaves and it just walks away. Uh, the security takes it away. So pretty crazy to see that. Uh, in the meantime, we just picked up the stack, uh, shopping at Audi, Aldi, however you want to say it. Uh, for under 20 items and then for what? I don't know, $15 I think it is. Uh, $15.25 and then there was a stack of Taco Bell 
uh, for a few dollars as well. So going really only a few miles. So it is what it is. Right now we're pretty slow in this area. I don't know what happened on a Sunday. Typically it's really popping all day. So let's go pick up that order and do the shopping. Some people are crazy. I'm in Aldi and I'm shopping and I left Instacart open. So I get, I see this order come up. It's $48, but it's going 49 miles. Crazy, right? And the item count is six. I mean, there's no other locations anywhere near the, in the next 48 miles or so. But sure enough, someone took that order almost immediately. Now, sometimes people will take an order because it's a high dollar and then cancel it immediately. I did not see it for, I don't know, I was in Aldi for 10, 15 minutes, didn't even see it. So someone took that order. You're crazy. Hello, how are you? Here you go. Sorry about that. What's that? Sorry about that. I didn't want you to get out of your car. I know. It's all good. It's all good. That's, I smart. Just, That's I, smart. The GoPro? Yeah. You never know what can happen. So. No, listen. I know. So, I know. Yeah. Yeah, man. Thanks for finding Thank me. you. Appreciate it. Have a great day. All right. So that was a weird drop off. Um, the Taco Bell and the Aldi was for the same customer, which I didn't realize until I was driving to the first what I thought was the first customer's uh, house and in the notes it says do not get out of car I'll come to you well hmm. at least I had to go pro on it was nothing it was the, the lady just didn't want me to bring anything up to the front uh, door which I get but it was in all caps do not get out of your car I thought that was pretty funny uh, right now, I think we're up to like 40 some dollars with DoorDash. Uh, not bad, but for a Sunday, I don't know. Typically, you, we would have about eh, maybe close to $100 by now. Uh, it is 11 o'clock, so maybe it'll start to pick up for lunchtime. Uh, Instacart is still just giving me Philadelphia orders. Uh, I, I mean, I'm still I'm getting other areas in New Jersey. Uh, but it's pretty much just Philadelphia order. So whoever's dashing, I'm not dashing. Whoever is shopping for Instacart in Philadelphia, man, you're making bank today, right? <laughs> man, what a frustrating day today is. 12 o'clock, no orders on Instacart. Not one order through Instacart in my store area. I'm just not getting it. I don't know why. I... I see tons of orders coming in, Philadelphia, King of Prussia, and that's even further, Springfield, PA. These are all in PA. Why am I getting those orders for? I just don't get it. Is no one ordering Instacart in this area? I don't know. DoorDash kind of like closed down. <laughs> I haven't received one order on, on uh, DoorDash. I just put on Spark just to see and I haven't even gotten anything yet because I just turned it on so now I'm waiting on spark which I hate spark but we need something we're at $47 I think it is $46.50 on DoorDash and that's it it is like everything just like calmed down for some reason no lunch on a Sunday no grocery orders on a Sunday where's all the orders at Hey, finally, $35.77 on Instacart going at Acme, shopping for 33 items. All right, much better. It only took until 12.30. Acme's been shopped for, 
onto the customers' houses. Now, <sighs> such a headache. The one customer had like 20 items, and I would say about 10 of those items were substituted. A uh, customer wanted to know every item that was in stock. Uh, it just nonstop. It took an extra 15 minutes to get through that one person's order. The other one was very fairly simple. It was only like five or so items. And then I get to the checkout lane and there's issues. There's only two lanes open. One is like out the door. So I'm not going into that lane. And then the other lane, I'm like, all right, there's only two people in there. What do you know? The one person is buying like eight value packs of chicken and there's no discount apparently on there. Yeah. So, and then after they finally got the discount taken care of, their gift card that they had wasn't working and their system wasn't processing the gift card. Oh my gosh, my patience, my patience. All this for now might be a lot less than the $30. Uh, but we're gonna find out once we make these drop-offs, but man, so I spent an additional 25 minutes into Acme just because of substitutions and for a lane that was pretty much closed for like 10 minutes. Anyways, uh, all right, so we're almost at a drop-off now for customer A, and then we'll make customer B drop-off, and then we'll see where we're at. You know what? It really is the best day for it. Mm. Thank you so you much. You got it. Just when I was about to call it for the day, I get this Instacart order, $36 going five miles. It's a triple batch. And it's about 30 some items, 39 items. But you know what? It's going to be our last order of the day. It is what it is. Instacart, it's trash. Today has been... <sighs> I, I, I can't even explain to you the frustration with Instacart robbing me of orders today. Nothing. This is the second order I saw in my zone all day, all day. I seen more DoorDash today, but even DoorDash was a little junky during the uh, lunch hours. So we're going to make this $36 run and then pretty much call it for today. You know, folks, sometimes you forget to take a look at where things are going uh, before you go and shop. You know, there's only one apartment complex, only one, that I almost refuse to deliver to. One, it's um, problematic every single time uh, while getting into the development area or the, or the apartment complex and the gate code never works because they give you a gate code and it just doesn't work. Uh, you often have to get someone to let you in and if there's no one there at the gate, then you're not getting in. Uh, and you call the customer and they don't answer you. Anyways, it's a long story. I have got burned, I don't know, half a dozen times maybe. And this is the one time, it's the third customer. The first two were great. They were actually within a block of each other. They were almost like neighbors. <sighs> this third one is to that apartment complex, and I think it's the second floor. 
and they're the largest order with like 20 some items oh man and, and i don't have my wagon so you know got to add that to the list of things so this is going to be a fun uh drop off but i think that'll be the last of it and we can go home for today didn't do too well today i i really thought for sunday this would have been you know popping yeah, uh, Instacart really just disappointed me. Um, big disappointment from the standpoint of, I don't know why I'm getting Philadelphia orders, like nonstop. It is flooding the feed where I'm getting a different state. I was getting Drexel Hill, King of Prussia, Springfield. I mean, these are all like 30 plus minutes away and I was continuously getting them. So either they're not working there's like no shoppers over in the Philadelphia area um, or there's some sort of glitch. I don't know, but that sucks. So Instacart just uh, kind of robbed me this morning uh, with, with really good orders. And then DoorDash, you know, was a savior for a little bit, but, um, you know, it's still only 40 some dollars. Not great. So we'll talk about that during the wrap up, but uh, either way, not that great of a day. I really was hoping for more. And then the last delivery of the day needs to be at this apartment complex that I absolutely despise. Oh, man. But you know what? The first two customers are great. Um, or the first two drop-offs were great. They both came out. They thanked me. You know, it's a shame because there was a lot of items that weren't in stock. A lot of items that had to be substituted or just refunded altogether. There was one item that's like $5. It was a can of soda for $5. That is just not in stock and she wanted 18 of them. <laughs> you know, now originally she only wanted six and then she sent me a message saying, can you get 18 of them? I'm like, oh, sure, absolutely. Um, but it didn't work out. There was none in stock. So. It is what it is. Uh, you, you can't fault the customer. Uh, and it, the store doesn't have them in stock, doesn't have them in stock. So,
Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I was able to get in just fine. But it was a third floor. I carried all the bags up to the third floor. That was tough. Whew. That was a workout for today. Uh, I'm scheduled for DoorDash at four o'clock. I put it on. We still have another 12, 15 minutes to get back home. So we'll see if we get any orders going back. Well, that is it for today. $119. This was a rough day. In fact, this was a rough weekend. I guess with the ice and the snow, you know, it just, uh, orders just didn't come through. And the ones that did, they were too far away. Like, I'm not driving. This is a broken record, but I'm not going to drive 30 miles away. I don't think any dasher or any, I'm sorry, any shopper is going to do that. Really, I was disappointed with Instacart, and that, that's the big deal. Uh, spent a lot of hours out, not even getting any offers. Really getting robbed in the, the first half of the day with absolutely no offers, except for ones going to King of Prussia. I mean, it's a broken record, but it's way too far. I, I just don't understand why Door, um, Instacart would send those orders. But anyways, I digress. Um, we did all right, and... I got a little workout <laughs> at the end, but um, now we can come home and take it easy and go back at it tomorrow. So um, for all of you guys out there doing Instacart shopping uh, or door dashing, uh, you know, have fun, you know, but also be safe out there. Uh, if you have any inclement weather, uh, if it's raining or snowing or just anything, uh, be safe, obviously. And uh, with that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Please like and subscribe if you can. We are, I am looking for 100 subscribers uh, in the next few weeks. I'd really like to get to that. Uh, and so anything that you guys like content wise, please let me know in the comments below. With that, go make that money.